Hello there and welcome to this series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at tree diagrams so we can answer questions from exercise 5D. Now hopefully you've seen tree diagrams before at your GCSE level maths. Uh, it's a simple way of drawing out all the different possible outcomes of two, three, maybe four successive events so you can work out the key probabilities for your given question. Let's go through an example here. So a bag contains seven beads and green beads and five blue beads. A bead is taken at random, the colour recorded, and a bead is not replaced. A second bead is taken and the colour recorded. Find the probability that we have one green and one blue bead after we've pulled our two beads out of the bag. So, what we can do here is draw a key diagram that gives us uh, all the different possible outcomes, one followed by another. So, green followed by another green would be this branch here. Green followed by a blue, that would be that branch there, and so on. And what we can do is write the probabilities onto the branches like this. So 7 out of 12 probability for picking a green, first of all. 5 out of 12 for pulling a blue out of the bag, first of all. Now the next probability is going to come on this branch here. Now we've already pulled a green one out of the bag, and we've not replaced it into the bag. That's a key part of this question. So therefore we've only got 6 green beads bag six green beads in the bag left and uh, we've only got 11 beads in total because we've pulled one out and we've not put it back so the second uh, the second green probability is six out of 11 and then so that means we've got five out of 11 uh, blue beads we haven't pulled any of the blue beads out but we have got rid of one of the beads that was not blue so we've only got 11 left uh, and then we'd switch to the other part of the diagram where we've pulled a blue bead out. So if we've pulled a blue bead out, we've still got all seven green beads, but we've dropped one of the amounts of beads. So we've only got 11 here. And if we've already pulled a blue bead out, we've only got four blue beads left. So we've got four out of 11 on this probability branch here. Now, the probability are, that we're looking to work out is a probability of one green and one blue. So we've got two different routes that we can go down the tree here. We can either go down this route here, where we go through one green and one blue. And the way we work out the combined probability of going green and then blue in that specific order, green then blue, is by multiplying our probabilities together. 7 out of 12 times 5 out of 11 which gives us 35 out of 132. I'd advise you not to simplify the fraction yet if you can, um, even if we can, uh, actually I don't think we can here, um, but because we then have, we'll have the same denominator on each of the fractions, so it's easier to combine them afterwards. Now another way of getting one green and one blue would be to start with the blue bead and then pick the green bead out afterwards. So we'll get a probability of 5 out of 12 times 7 out of 11. We're effectively timesing the numbers that are along the branches of the direction that we've gone along the tree diagram. So that's 35 out of 132. Now, if we don't mind which order we've pulled the beads out of the bag at, if it's green then blue or blue then green, then we can have a combination of these two probabilities. So our total answer here is 7 out of 132. All right then, so pause the video and have a go at this tree diagram question. All right then, well done for having a go at this question here. So a bag contains three red beads and five, five blue beads. So that's going to be the first red one and the first blue one. Bead is chosen at random, uh, the colour is recorded and the bead is replaced. The second bead is chosen from the bag. Draw a tree diagram to represent this information. So it would be 3 out of 8 along this branch here and 5 out of 8 along this branch here. Now in this experiment here, we are replacing the bead back into the bag. So the second time round, it's still going to be 3 out of 8. And for the blue bead, it's still going to be 5 out of 8. And this probability would be exactly the same as well. Because we have replaced the bead into the bag, so we get 3 out of 8 and 5 out of 8. Part B is to find the probability both beads are blue. Well, in that case, we want to go along this branch here. So we're going to times these two bit probabilities together. B1 and B2 is going to be 
5 times 5 is 25, over 8 times 8, which is 64. Part C, find the probability that the second bead is blue. Well, in this case here, um, because the probabilities are not going to change, our final answer here is just going to be 5 out of 8. Let's show you this another way. Now, if the second bead is blue, then we could have also gone along this branch here. So to get to the probability of red as the first bead and blue as the second bead, then we just do 3 times 5, which is 15, and 8 times 8 is 64. Add your probabilities together and we get 40 out of 64. Divide by 16 on the top and the bottom and you get 5 out of 8. Okay, so the probability of blue beads coming second uh, is not going to be any different from the blue bead coming first or the blue bead coming in any position. Alright then, so that's the, uh, that's the answer to this question here. Hopefully you've uh, recalled that and hopefully it's familiar to you from your GCSE knowledge. If not, then have lots of practice on exercise 5D. Make sure you do the questions until you've mastered the topic, not just until you've got the first one correct. Okay, if you do find any questions difficult, remember to go to your teacher and ask for help. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching.